Hey, what's up, everybody? So this is going to be a Yuri's Revenge game on Sovereign Land. So, with your Yuri, you gotta move to MCV right away, or you're gonna have trouble. Um, the allies doesn't have to. They could, if they're versus the Yuri, because they don't have to worry about the dog pressure. If they were versus the Soviet. So yeah, you gotta move it So you can move it to the middle, but it's better to move it here because then you're gonna have the hill advantage for if they rush. You're gonna have a defense. And you don't have to worry about like getting those buildings filled up. A, a lot of people I see, um, if both players are rushing toward the center, you could sell your power plant to get one initiate and put it in the building. That's if only if you're in a super, super rush. You do the same thing on the LMO also. Unit ready. New construction options. Um, I want to scout and get the oil. So this is should be a good Yuri map. Um, actually, I think France is the strongest on this map because of the French cannons. Those dogs were annoying, huh? Construction complete. Cannot deploy here. I just want to set up right here, and eventually I want to go down and get the gems. So it protects the engineer. Training. And I want to figure out what this MCV is. So this actually, this map is actually good for um for Yuri because you had the magnetron, you could you could beam the um miners to you and they slam them on the cliff. But what I did versus Yuri when I used to play this in quick match is I would get a couple scoops and as soon as I see a radar or a magnetron, I would stop mining in the middle and then get my miners out of there and then mine at the top. And then you could actually um make a whole bunch of if you're allies you can make a whole bunch of destroyers. And you could actually beat the Yuri on this map, but you gotta have really good anti-air defense. But the thing is, the way that the allies is really smart, they could actually win this. But what the Yuri has to do to win is get the two super weapons and get disc and try to make a big hit with the discs and try to do something with boomers. So there's a scout grizzly. I don't know he's shooting the MCV rather than the scouting. Okay, that is actually bad. That's not supposed to happen right there. I should have sent them there right away. I think he was using that to distract me. Save this miner. Oh, that's what he was doing. He was distracting me. So I'm gonna try to get some of the ore down here. Our base is under attack. Unit ready. Then you gotta automag these. I don't think he's gonna kill that. Uh oh. So I wanna get my lab relatively quickly. And you can start making a couple masterminds and then disc. Building. Shouldn't make one battle bunker on the left side. Eventually, I'm gonna do it. But he doesn't see that initiate in that building. So my scout is not super good. Building. Unit lost. Generators ready. Construction option. Training. Crap! I definitely need that um bunker right there. Construction complete. Yeah, the mastermind should be able to handle quite a few of these. He got one miner, does it really matter? I actually don't have a lot of miners. I got two, I think? But I got two oils. So this is how you do this map, you had to shoot two bridges. You can shoot with the boomers. Oh, you could do use a bird to smash or a lasher tank. The faster way to do it is to put one um, infantry unit on the bridge and then fire at the air at your own unit, and uh, air missiles kill the, the bridge faster, I'm pretty sure. So, <laughs> but that's kind of stupid to do. So, I'm gonna try to get over there. And by the way, if you're in a very competitive game, you make a whole shitload of boomers. Put them there. I'm just gonna make one or two because um I lost a miner and I'm trying to balance my budget. Look at this. 
He's gonna go take it from the left side. The way the allies has to win this is they have to um, use the weather control device in Chronosphere because it's gonna be really difficult to attack me, especially if we put one battle bunker on the left side. Training. Building. I got three minus, that should be enough for now, and I could get those gems a little bit later. But I'm actually rushing the super weapons, so my army's not gonna be super big, so I'm not gonna attack with my army, I'm just gonna defend with my army. We gotta get the bunker, and I could. I mean, get the grind and then stretch with the bunker. Yeah, I don't know what he's trying to mind down there. I think he has with Scott. He sees no Magnetron, so he thinks he could sneak in a couple scoops, which he's correct. But not for too long. Building. Okay, I actually forgot about my boomer. I think I gotta. Yeah, okay. get my boomer over there. And the thing that sucks about boomers, you don't know how many boomers. He doesn't know how many boomers I'm making. I could just make one, or I could make five and go hardcore in the navy. He doesn't know. He could he actually. I think you had to try to guess. I got these many discs. Okay, look, he's got some air defense up there. And when you have your base split, my discs could actually look for a, a sp place to shoot. Uh, I'm looking for a place to shoot that doesn't have air defense. So I could do a maximum damage. No Aegis Cruiser right there. Look at that. Almost shot down the... So he has some... Um, it's not safe to attack right there because he has some... Air defense, look at this. Boom, boom, boom. Oh, there's this Aegis Cruiser. Aegis Cruiser. So I'm looking over there. I see a Battle Fortress, so I'm going to get out of there. And the thing is, the Aegis isn't fast enough to chase me down. They're not like the Sea Scorpions. But they're way stronger than the Sea Scorpions. So that's the strongest anti air defense in the game, the Aegis Cruiser. Look, he screwed up. Eventually, he was going to make that mistake. Tried to get the second oil. Got two super weapons. And the funny thing is, sometimes you could actually fly back to the same exact spot that you were shooting at a second ago. And then just blow up everything. That's the funny thing. So I'm going to try to sneak around and look for the MCV. I noticed how the Battle Fortress... It's mobile, not mobile enough where it could actually like... It could guard that area, but sometimes you could sneak up and go around it and shoot and run. So he needs an Aegis Cruiser, but the funny thing is, um... My Boomer might still be able to shoot at him, even though he has all the destroyers. He spent a, quite a lot of money on destroyers. Okay, he does have the weather device, so he does have a chance to win. Remember I said you need the two super weapons to win this map. Okay, look at that, I actually... That's actually so dumb of him to let me shoot his oil. Building. Now I got a cyanic decimator ready. Make a couple of bunkers for any chronospheres. He spent way too much money on the navy. I only made one or two boomers. So I could just attack. I don't even have to wait around I'm too long for my super weapons. The weather control device is about to go off, but does it really matter at this point? He did not have the army. Uh, he did something wrong. And his economy was better than mine. He had look, he had an ore purifier. I didn't get that much money off of the grinder. So it looks like I'm about to win this game, I guess. Yeah. He's not gonna quit. Oh, but it's actually kind of hard to use the aircraft carriers versus Zuri on this map. I mean, you can, but you gotta have position just right so it shoots without it being able to get magnetroned. So that's it. Right, thanks for watching. It's gonna end it in a minute. Unit ready. Taking them down. Magnetron on standby. We need no compass. Building. Unit lost. Psychic dominator ready. Select target. Unit ready. You are victorious.